Lord, that's our love for Israel, Lord, and that should be our love for our neighbor, Lord. Father, for this gospel is to, is, is, is to all nations, Lord. Oh, Lord God, come and establish that which come will down, bring many, Lord. Lord. Yes, Break us Lord. free. You've let this last day, as you rightly said, iniquity would abound, Lord. It's, 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 it's like somebody opened the floodgates, Lord God. The subtlety of it, Lord. It's not just manifestly wicked. It's subtle. Lord, I pray, God, deliver and extricate yes, your people, Lord. Take the false burdens and the legalism and all the, and all the heaviness out of their lives, Lord God, and let them, let them fiercely, Lord, uh, declare your praises and learn, and see already yes, kind of down payments and first fruits of that yes. of that yes. Satan falling yes, light lightning when your little disciples I came back that. and said, Lord, we saw this and saw that. Yeah. Oh Lord, yes. you had already bound the strong man. What yes. this last time will be, we'll, we'll be entering into that which has already been established and secured by your blood, Lord. But we need you to empty out and break this proud and, yes, and self-sufficient flesh, Lord, and yes. ease us Amen. of what we are without your full Oh, God, you're full of breaking in, Lord. Yes, we need God. the apocalyptic God to come. Oh, and if we think we're Lord, ahead of the game, Lord, we have not yearned, learned anything. We need to be empty, God. We need to be destitute, God. Lord God, the rich you send empty away. And, and like Art said to that woman, you're too rich in will. You believe in willpower or whatever, Lord. There is a will, but Lord, we're not to come. It's not of the will. It's not of the flesh. Yes. It's by your spirit, Lord. Yes. Empty us, Lord God. Yes, Lord. Hasten this day, Lord God. Yes, Let it come Lord. a little closer. Yes, Lord. Let a major increment, Lord, of, yes. of advancement toward that day come, Lord. Yes. And raise up a people who know these yes. things and can show them to their college buddies. Yes, Lord, and, and Lord, prepare communities, Lord. Prepare yes. wilderness places. Yes. Put it in God's people's heart, Lord God, yes. to be wise yes. concerning the time. Yes. And, to, and to, uh, to number their days with wisdom, Lord, and to move with holy fear. Yes. Because, Lord, there, you are preparing an ark. And it's, yes. not a, it's not a physical thing entirely, but it has physical aspects, Lord. Yes. But it's only as we're led by the Spirit, Lord. We're not talking about going out and buying farms. But we are talking about the urgency to hear from heaven and to do things that are w in wisdom directed by the Spirit. And do help us, Lord God, to have places, Lord, prepared, Lord. And places to, to develop and build and, 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 and to see this Word, Lord, articulated, defined, clear, so that the wayfaring man, though a fool, would not err therein, Lord. I'm praying for great simplicity, Lord. You've given us things that are difficult, but God, you can make it so simple. You can make such a plumb line of clarity and simplicity to come forth, Lord, that a child could write it. In the mighty name of Jesus, we ask, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Reggie, you used that word, hasten, and the Lord had just taken me to this scripture. Since all these things ought to be destroyed in this way, what sort of people ought you to be in holy conduct and godliness, looking for and hastening the coming of the day of God? The travail is going to hasten the coming of the day of God. That's right. Let's hurry up the coming of the day of God. Amen, brothers? Hallelujah. It's a great mystery, but it works together. You know, there's a set time. And yet, we're totally engaged. So, oh, here's, I've got one quick thing. In Isaiah, check it out sometime. Isaiah 59, Isaiah 63. Compare the two. In both places, it talks about the year of my redeemed has come and all that. But here's a mirror, a mysterious paradox which perfectly shows why we can hasten the day of the Lord and yet not, and not change one thing about God's perfect, determined calendar. The two things are absolutely agreeable. They meet in, in God in a beautiful way. But it says in Isaiah 59, he says, I looked and I found no intercessor. In other words, this thing was in my heart, the year of my redeemed, to get it done with the Jew, to, to vindicate my name, to end this thing. That was in my heart. But I couldn't find any participant equal to what, you know, the work. It's like when Jesus said, could you not watch with me one hour while we're all sleeping, you know? Yeah. So, so it says, my own arm brought me. And he says it again. You should read the two, two passages yes. together. So my own arm brought me salvation. That doesn't mean he's not going to have a travailing church. When Jesus said, oh, this is good. When Jesus said, when I come, will there be faith on the earth? You think he didn't know Daniel? He think he didn't know about the people that would be instructing many? He knew there'd be great faith in the earth. But he's saying, it's not from you. It's not of you. He will engage us. It's him. Engage he's here tonight moving us to a place yep. we would not have gone. Right. This yeah. is not, yes, we're volunteers in the day of his power. Not because we've generated something. You guys see what I mean? Hallelujah. It's Amen. his intercession in us. He's not saying I won't have intercessors. It will not be yours. You cannot glory in it. You can't take credit for it. It's the Spirit of God 
who's working it in you, who's quickening dead things and showing you the urgency and taking away your, your, your self-reliant false security and moving you to a place where the only thing is, is grace, grace, grace. Mm -hmm. Zerubbabel will bring forth the headstone, grace, grace. The whole thing is grace that you're praying, that you're hearing tonight. It's grace. Mm -hmm. You didn't pick this out. You're just going along with it. You know, God is merciful, moving and constraining and inclining your heart. He's putting it in your yes, heart. Amen. You're not the originator amen. of anything. And so he says, I don't even find an intercessor, but I'm going to get it done. But yet the world will be full of intercessors. There'll be a corporate Daniel intercessor, the body of Christ. That's the paradox. Will I find faith? It won't be ours. I believe he's suggesting that faith will have almost passed from the earth. That's how difficult, true, godly, liberated believing will be just before he, Satan, you know, before these days come. But I'll tell you what, it's not just that faith is going to come when Satan's kicked out. Faith is building, building, building right now. Amen. And as we get closer to that seven years, we're going to see it even before it gets here. And then when that door closes behind us, faith is building, building, building. It's like the, Mr. Morton says, you know, you didn't see this. And we're going to see. And it's going to have a tremendous constraining effect on us. It's going to move us to this place. And, uh, you, know, you know, it's just, it's, uh, I got one quick thing to say. Uh, that G the scripture says, it's a paradox, but it says, when all these plagues are in the earth, everything, there's one thing that the angel says, see that you do not hurt the oil or the wine. Yeah. You know what that is? I know by the Holy Ghost what that is. Thus saith the Lord, the oil and the wine is the anointing and the joy of the Holy Ghost on Amen. God's people. God. These terrible plagues and things are not going to touch yes. it. Amen. Amen. You know, Amen. so that's it. Holy Ghost, love Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> yes. Amen. Amen. The blessed wow. hope. Amen. Glory. Amen. Amen. Glory in the church. The blessed hope. Mm -hmm. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Yes, O oh Lord. End this thing, Lord. Stop the carnage. Stop the bleeding. Yes, come, Lord. Lord Jesus. Bring yes, it on that it might end forever. Yes, O oh Lord. You've let them to come that they might be destroyed forever. That's the prophetic word you gave to me, Lord, in my own experience. When I had an invasion of the enemy and the lights went out, my daughter said in a dream, You've let them come that they might be destroyed forever. And so if there's anything in us, Lord, the prince of this world, if he has anything in us, Lord, help us, Lord. Yes. Get it out of us, Lord. Yes. Let that one, that, that accuser, let him have nothing in us. Let him have no handle to pull and no uh, yes. strings to pull, Lord. Empty us, Lord. It's not going to come through resolution discipline alone. It's going to come through an emptying that only you can affect and accomplish, Lord. You must take us where we're not able to go. In yes, Jesus' so name. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Who Hallelujah. also will do it. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Created me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within. church Lord be glorified now unto him be glory in the church does anyone know that song that Art used to sing now unto him be glory in the church that's uh, can we close with Art's favorite song yeah Romans 11 somebody started I can take it from there um, 
Oh, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and the knowledge of God. How unsearchable are His judgments, and His ways past finding Recompensed to him again, for of him and through him and to him are all things. To Too, too low, but yeah. For of him and through him and to him are all things, all things that count. The things that count are of and from and through and return to. And all glory that comes out returns to, and no flesh gets picked up along the way. <laughs> and to him be glory in the church. Amen. When he gets all the glory, he can entrust us with so much. Amen. He's protecting us right now because we're not able to handle it, but we're going to handle it. Amen. He's going to pull out the stops. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Does anybody know the, the song uh, I saw heaven open and behold a white horse? Yeah. Revelation. Mm -hmm. You want to sing it with me? Yeah, sure. And I saw heaven open and behold a Yeah. 